Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Julie Davis. I have a question uh, for the sheriff about the fiscal impact of the ICE detainees. We heard Ellen say that it costs well over $100,000 to keep a juvenile in jail for a year. And in the state of California, the average cost to keep an inmate is 70, I think this is 2016-17, uh, um, $70,812 a year. So you, I'm, I've seen in the papers that you said that you get six million dollars from the federal government to keep the ICE detainees, but the math says that um, at the cost, at seventy thousand dollars a year, it's over fourteen million dollars a year to keep two hundred people, um, and that's a big difference between fourteen million dollars and six million dollars. Um, in 2011, supposedly it cost around $106 a day to keep a person in jail in the state of California. And even that is almost $8 million. So I'm just wondering how you do the math of that and is that program actually costing the county money? Because uh, I'm getting the impression that it's not. It's not. Uh, what happens is that the, the billing is uh, to ICE for the total of about $6 million for the moving average daily population. But we're occupying a dormitory where we have, believe it or not, one deputy supervising, uh, is it 120 beds on one half of a module, 119? So 120 and one deputy supervising the other side. So the cost in that model even including foodie, food and clothing and everything, is much less because you have a, a building that's open, it's all one type of offender, they can move around freely. So it, the, the actual cost is about $3 million. The remaining three doesn't go to me personally or anybody else. It goes right into the operation of the jail itself, the jail system, which, as I mentioned earlier, is about, in total, $80 million. So I'd be happy to talk with you in detail about the math, but it's right around six million a year. Do we have any other questions?